Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to use the Photoshop Elements Camera Raw Editor to do white balance, going from this over to that. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and also click on subscribe as well. When you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And to learn everything about Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, let's get to it. Photoshop Elements has a great tool for doing all of your standard camera adjustments like white balance and your different values, colors, and so forth. And it's called the Raw Editor, and it's up here under the File menu, and right here it says Open in Camera Raw. Now you don't have to use this with just raw images. This will work with any kind of image. I'll be showing you this on a JPEG, for instance. Of course, it's designed for raw, but you can use it on other images as well. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. And I have an example right here. And this opens up the Camera Raw Editor. As you can see here, it's its own little program and it's floating on top of Photoshop Elements. Now this has some serious color problems. It's really kind of a yellow greenish on that. It's not really far off, but it's enough. Now to balance the color, again, fairly straightforward, fairly easy. First, go up here to the top little icons and right there, click on that little eyedropper. This is the white balance tool. Now click on something that should be either white or black or a pure gray value with no color. Now we have her dress in here, so that's pretty good. I'm I'm guessing that it's a wedding dress, it probably be, is a pure white. And I'll grab a nice light spot right in here, click on that, and that should get us close. Now it's not going to be perfect. If I click around, I may get just slightly different values in here, but that'll be close. Now to my eye, it's still a bit on the magenta side. So this gives us our first adjustment. We're now going to tweak this and make this better. So over here on the right hand side, we have our temperature and tint. The tint goes from green to magenta, the temperature goes from blue to yellow. So we'll start off right here. It's too much magenta. So I'll just move this just a little bit to the left until I begin seeing too much green, which is like that. So right in between those two, it looks like right about here is pretty good. Now it's a personal judgment, a personal taste on that one, but I think that's pretty good. Now it's a little bit on the cool side as well. So just a touch of temperature. Don't go too far because it'll do that to you but just a little bit of warming on that. And I'd say right about there looks pretty good. Okay, now let's work on the values in the picture. It's a little bit washed out. The brights aren't as bright as they should be. The darks aren't as dark as they should be. So we'll come down here and that's this section right in here. The exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. I'll start off with the contrast and I'll move this a bit to the right making it a bit more contrasty. And that's getting pretty good now. It's looking pretty nice. We'll come down to the highlights. Let's just tweak those a little bit. I'll go to the right a little bit on the highlights. Just a little brightening up on that. On the shadows, a little bit of brightening up on the shadows. Brings in more shadow detail. You can see that mostly in her hair, right in here. Let me just rock that back and forth so you can see that. There's without and there's with. So we gain some detail in the shadows. Let's boost our whites a little bit in here as well. That'll increase our contrast and make things just a bit more white. And then we'll take our blacks darker just a touch, just a little more richness into the dark end. And I think we're getting pretty good right there. Now down below, this stuff in here is your color saturation and your sharpness. I think this is sharp enough, and I think the color saturation is fine as well, so I'm not really going to be worrying about this. But you can always double check this, a little more saturation. Maybe just a touch, doesn't hurt. There we go. All right, so there is the after. Now you can double check this by coming down here to this button right here. It has two arrows going back and forth. Click on that to go back and forth between your original and your adjusted version. And I think we're looking pretty good at this point. When you're done, you can click on done. It's just going to then save this back on the original file. Now, if you want to work on this some more in Photoshop Elements, then come down here where it says open image, and this will then transfer this image out of the camera raw editor and over into the Photoshop Elements editor. So click on open image and there we go. It's now inside of the Photoshop Elements editor. We can then do more work in here if we want to. But I think we're pretty good on the white balance. So there you go. That's how to use that camera raw editor to adjust your white balance in a picture. And again, it's up here under file and open in camera raw right there. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you click on share and subscribe as well. And to learn a lot more about Photoshop Elements, 
take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.